Hey, what's up, guys? It's Mario back again with our YouTube video. Today's video, guys, I am going to talk about Ethermon, specifically the Emon token. I'm going to talk about strategies and how you can maximize and win as much Emon token as possible. Again, this is part of the play to earn economy. So I'm going to go over all the details and different types of strategies. And we're talking about uh, type of uh, Ethermon strategies like a fire type, electric type, water type, which could give you an edge when you do battle. Also the levels like battle level, um, you know, uh, level in general. Uh, then there's like, uh, there's even point level. There's different levels that you could sort your, your, your team so you could battle and have an edge and win. Also developing your team, you know, how do you develop your team uh, in terms of levels and, and Iman type so you could have the best team and defenders too so you could win because in these type of battles, you could win, you could actually win Iman token per battle win. So you want to make sure you maximize the amount of energy you get every single day uh, so you could win as much Iman token, which of course you could exchange uh, for, uh, you know, US dollars or, you know, and things like that, uh, which you can create an income if you wish to. So I'm going to go over all the details in this video. If you have any questions, don't forget to ask down below in the YouTube comments and don't forget to smash that like button. I do appreciate the support. Also subscribe down below to the YouTube channel. I do post videos every single week talking about Ethermon, NFTs, meme stocks, all that good stuff. So you don't want to miss the next video. Now, let me share my screen guys. So let's get started. Okay. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to quickly share my screen uh, so I can pretty much show you guys what I'm talking about. So in terms of the, the, the mon types, there's lightning type, there's water type, and there's fire type. Uh, now, this is kind of reminds me like rock, paper, scissors. You know, if you take a, take a look at these, these, you know, water beats fire, fire beats lightning, and then lightning beats water. So uh, now in this case, again, September, starting September 8, 2021, the latter five are EMA per win. They eliminated the fire type. So now it's going to be water and lightning. So if you think about it, you want to make sure you, you, you group your strongest Ethermon. So, you, so lightning Ethermon get developed. And so you have an a, a, a edge over the water type Emons. Okay. Uh, so let's kind of go over that. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the battle. So I'm going to go over battle um, and I'm going to show you guys uh, in terms of uh, what I'm talking about. So of course, I, I've already had eight wins wins already. One other thing that I want to mention when you're building a team is the, the higher the level, the better. So what I'm going to do, guys, uh, now actually quickly want to show you guys that every single five days, every single tournament, which is every five days long, they do change the rules. Uh, last week, it was actually all water type and fire. So now they have lightning and water type only. And they have to be below 40. So every time you want to know what's, what the rules are, always look down here so you know what the rules are. So, of course, you want to do is click on enter. So you are starting a new team. Um, the first thing you want to do is go to form teams. Uh, click right here. And this is what, what, uh, what really matters in terms of forming your team. My advice is always go with the highest level Ethermon, highest level Mons, because they're the ones that are going to have the highest battle power. So you see right here? 232 battle power, the higher the battle power, the stronger they're going to be. And the higher the probability is that you're going to win your battles. But again, you have to win two battles uh, per, per uh, cause there's, again, you have to choose three ethermon. So when you battle other ethermon, you have to win at least two out of the three. Uh, so you want to make sure you choose, always choose your strongest ethermon first. So in this case, I have chosen, I, I did choose uh, uh, this one right here. Uh, now, of course, you want to click on here. This is Defender. Actually, this is Offense. Uh, now, I did choose uh, I did choose this Ethermon. It was an, another Water and Psychic uh, with, because it's level 22. So, again, I chose this one first. I, I always like to choose a higher uh, level first. I tend to notice that uh, usually other people do the same thing. They tend to go with the highest level first. Uh, so, um, so, always go with that one. The next one, of course the second highest level with level 22. Now I did choose this one right here, uh, this level three Ethermon. Now the reason why I chose this one, uh, even though there, I, there is this electric one right here, which I could choose as level one, but the reason why I chose this one is because this is a Matic Ethermon right here. Uh, this Ethermon that I'm building, I could actually exchange and I could battle and I could sell if I wish to. 
<clears throat> now, this one right here, if you see that this one right here, this is not a Matic one uh, and it has a low level. So, uh, you know, that's something that, you know, I, you have to keep in mind. So I always keep this as kind of like a defender. Uh, I may start building this one up because it is an electric one, because again, electric is over water. Uh, so what I like about this one right here is that now I have this electric as a defender, which helps my water type fight other water type or other electric. So that's, a, that's pretty much what I did here. So uh, now if you look at my, my team, now I've already formed it, so uh, I don't need to click that anymore. If you look at my team, it's pretty much right here. So level 27, level 22, level 33. And now when you select opponents, what I like to do is always go to level first, lowest level. Lowest level just makes sense because if your ether mana are higher level, it almost doesn't even matter if they're water type, electric type, fire type, you're going to have a higher probability of winning. So you always go to the, level, the lowest level first, and of course you select opponent, you click on battle. Um, and actually, in this case, I actually could battle. So let's, I do have 20 energy left. So let's, let's, let's get that started. Let me, let me start battling. So let me see what happens here. So I'm going to go click on battle. And I don't want to see the whole battle. So I'm just going to click on end and automatically uh, forwards it to the end. So you see, I won right here. Uh, and I'm going to go again and select an opponent. And I'm going to go to lowest level first. Again, if you notice right away, my ether mount are way, way higher in level, except this one. This one is a level three, and this is going to be a level 12. So this one is definitely going to beat that one, but it's okay. I only need to win two out of three uh, to win uh, the match. And that's pretty much what matters. See, I want this match. So I'm going to go now again, select the low, go to the lowest level again. Again, lowest level six. Again, my ether mount are way higher in level. Uh, so I'm pretty happy about that. As long as two ethermont are higher level than the ones I'm battling, I'm okay. Now, if you see this one has level six, this one level three, so most likely this one's going to beat this one, but all I need to do is win two out of three to win, to win this battle. And again, every battle that I win, I do win an ethermont. So you got to keep that in mind. So again, I'm going to go to lowest level and I'm going to choose this one again. Again, lowest level, easiest one. I'm going to click on battle, battle again. And I'm going to go to end. There you go. And I'm going to choose select opponent again. Again, keep it very, very simple. Doesn't have to be that. Now, if you see this one, level 20, level 12, level 11. Again, I'm still, these two are actually, <clears throat> now this is where it gets tricky. See this one? This was an electric one. See, see when it starts flashing? When it starts flashing like this, this, this one is an, it has an advantage over the water. So. You know, but the, the difference is, is that this one has a battle power 173 and this one has a battle. Actually, if you, if you combine the battle power because of the, because of the difference of elements and now it's 148 plus 24. So it has 172 battle power. This one has 173. So it's literally neck and neck. Uh, so this is going to be a very interesting one. Um, what I could do is I could uh, choose to battle other ones. Let me see. Uh, let me see what else I could do. Let me see. I may have to change it. Uh, 122. Uh, actually, yeah. Let me see. If there's any other ones that make more sense to me. Uh, let me see this one. Okay. So see the battle power? 130 plus plus 21, let me see what we get, 130, 130 plus 21, that's 151, that's definitely better than, you know, 173 is higher than 151, so let's see, it's getting, cutting it very, very close right here, so this is where, you know, you have to really think about, you know, so really, really think about, actually, let me go to Law's Battle Power, Highest battle power. I'm going to go to lowest battle power. Lowest battle power. So 124. So let me see. So it's cutting it very close. It's either between this one and this one. Let's 
So that's going to be the tricky one, guys. What do you guys think? Which one should I go with? <laughs> um, I'm going to follow my instincts. I think I'm going to go with this one. Just because... Battle power is P. Four fifty seven two thirty two. So I know this is going to be this one. I'm going to go with this one, guys. You know, and the reason why is because this has a higher battle power than this one. This one's the battle power is one hundred nine. This is one seventy three. So I know most likely this was going to lose against this one. So let's go with it and see if I win. So sometimes you do need to kind of think about it, what you're doing. So actually, I want to kind of see this fight. See, I did win this one right here. And if you look at the fight, it kind of shows you how much damage you can give it, you know, on each hit, I guess you could say. So this is where I actually kind of want to see how my second one performs. There you go. So I win the first one. This is the one that matters right here. Again, you have this electric one fighting a water one. So it looks like, yes, it looks like I may, have, I may win this one just because my battle power is way higher than his. Um, and I think I am going to win this one. So, yep, I think I'm going to win this one. Again, all I need to do is win two out of three. And I think this is it. Yep, I definitely won this one. So I won, yes. So this is where strategy does come into play, guys. You have to look at the battle power. So the other one was way too close to call. So levels right now, this is definitely going to win. This one's going to win. Uh, so I'm definitely going to choose this one for sure. Okay. And I'm just going to end it because, yep, see victory. There you go. I'm going to go to lowest level again. 19. And this one's going to win. Uh, this one's going to win it for sure. And this one is actually, this is going to win. So definitely have an advantage here. So I'm going to go battle. Uh, yep, there you go. Win. Select the opponent again. <clears throat> lowest level. Okay, so now this is a little bit tough now. So now we have a level 34. Uh, this one has a higher battle power. So I'm going to lose this one. This one's level 18. So three. This is going to win. But then this is 84. Yep. This is definitely going to lose. So I'm definitely going to lose if I choose this one. If I go to this one, this one has a fire powder. So this one's going to win. This one's going to win, but this is going to lose. So this one's a losing one. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go with the lowest battle power or lowest level, or lowest point. What is low, lowest point? Let's see. Lowest point pretty much, I believe, means um, the accumulated points of the, of, the, of, the, of the trainer. But usually, the lowest battle power is the best one. Let me see. Now I got to like match this one. So it looks like this one's going to beat me. Beat me, no. Okay, this one definitely going to win this one fight right here. Uh, I'm actually going to lose this fight, and I'll be losing this fight. So, no. I'll win this fight, lose this fight, lose this fight. No. Win this fight, and win this fight. Yes. See that? It's definitely this one right here. So, the reason why I chose this one, level 27, level 25, higher battle power. This is most likely going to win. Level 23. Level 19, ooh, you see that? 183 plus 31, battle power. Um, I think this might actually beat this one. So I don't know if I want to do that, actually. So let's move on with another one. Level 36. Well, that's going to win. Level 7. Level 7, that's not a good one. So level 34, 8, nope. Five, nope, nope, nope. Ooh, maybe I could win this one. Oh, no, nope, because this is a, this is a uh, electric one. 
So guys, it looks like the, the one that I had the best chance at winning, it might actually be this one right here. The one that matters is this battle, the second one right here. I think the electric is going to win. Uh, I don't think my ether mana is strong, stronger. So I'm going to kind of wait it out. I want to see, we see who wins. So I mean, I'm going to see how my, my second battle ether mines, you know, kind of react to it. So I want to see this battle. I really want to see so far. I kind of won most of my battles, uh, but this is the one where it gets a little bit tricky. So we'll see, we'll see who wins. Now the electric one does have higher battle power, but it has a lower level. So I may actually lose this one. And it's all based on because the electric one has a, I guess an advantage because of water. So I did win the first one. Let's see the second one. Let's see what happens. Ooh, this is like neck and neck. It's neck and neck. So we'll see. And again, it's literally like neck and neck. If you see the damage right here is literally 10. And actually the other thing you have to look at is health power. So you have 131, he has 126. Uh, ooh, see, now his health power is 116, 111. So it looks like I might have, yeah, I might have lost this one. So. See, that's where it gets a little bit tough, guys. So you have to really, really strategize on how you set up the teams and which ones you fight. So level 27, definitely going to win this one. Definitely going to win this one. That's going to be an easy one. So, okay. So I got two more battles. Now, just to mention, guys, every single, uh, every single uh, battle does take one, uh, two energies. You have 20 energies in the day. So every single battle does take two energies. So you got to always keep that in mind. Uh oh no, this one has a higher six. Definitely this one. Okay, so this one 31, 13, 24. Nope. 27, 27, 232. Yep, higher well power. Yep. I think this is the one. Let me go with this one. So if you can see my even though same level, mine has a higher battle power. This one is is such a low level that it's pretty much not gonna do much. I'm definitely gonna lose this battle with this dude, but and again, it's my last one. So, yep, see, I won. So I have run out of energies. Uh, I'm just gonna click on it, just gonna show you guys. Once you run out of energy, see, energy love zero. It does take two energies per per battle per attack. But look at my battle history, guys. Out of the last ten battles, I only lost one. That's a ninety percent win rate. Now, so the strategies do work. Again, you're never, you know, I've, I've actually won a couple of times, hundred percent win rate, uh, but it doesn't happen often. Um, you have to really think about who you're battling and how your, your Ethermon, your team is set up so you could win each battle. But Hey, you know, if you think about it, I won pretty much and right here, just right here, I won nine times and there's 0.5 Iman tokens per win. So I won literally 4.5 Iman tokens right now. Iman token believes trading at 25 cents. So Hey, I pretty much won a dollar, which is, hey, it's all good with me, you know? Hey, free money. So, um, and if you go to CoinGecko, I could show you guys how much Iman token is worth. So, let's go to Iman token. There you go. It's worth like, yeah, going 25 cents. Now, just to kind of show you guys, Iman token was trading at uh, around 37 cents a couple days ago on Monday. So, you know, the goal is if you keep, you know, holding and earning these EMON tokens over time, these might go up in value. You know, like if you think about it, EMON token was literally worth five cents, five cents in June, early June. So, literally in a month, if you think about it, actually, here's a, you know, here's a return. You know, in three months, it went up 439%. So hopefully in a year, it could double, triple again. So hopefully, you know, this Iman token may worth be worth 50 cents, it may be worth 60 cents or a dollar in the next couple of months. So, you know, just keep holding those Iman tokens. That's that's my strategy. So um, if you click at go battle again, you guys will see 17 wins overall. I have 17 wins overall. Now, just to kind of show you my wallet, 
here are my Iman token. I, I did buy 100 Iman on the quick swap, but I have earned 42 Iman tokens from them. So, you know, if you multiply 42 times 0.25, I mean, that's $10.50 US dollars just by, you know, playing this game. I mean, and if the Iman token doubles, now that's going to be worth 20 bucks or $22 or whatever, $21. So, or if it triples, you know I mean? It's like over $30. Um, and just to kind of show you guys my wallet, I'll show you guys right here as well. I have it under my MetaMask wallet and I have it under the Matic network. So here it is. And here it is, Matic network right here. Here's 142.5 Iman token. Uh, again, cause you do win 0.5 Iman uh, per battle. So here it is, 142 Iman token. So uh, this stuff is legit guys. Um, and uh, yeah. So hopefully you guys learned something from this video about the strategies on how to win. Again, I did win nine, nine, uh, nine battles or nine, yeah, nine battles out of the 10 that am I allowed because I only get 20 energy. Each battle costs two energies per day. So uh, hey, I was able to win, uh, you know, nine Iman tokens or, or, or 5.2 Iman tokens. So hey, um, I'm happy with that. So hope you have any questions. Don't forget to ask the questions down below. And don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe down below. Uh, you guys will hear from me soon. Take care, guys.